Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now you are most likely, I'm going to say 99% of you are watching this in, on a computer or on a tablet or maybe even on TV, right? All these new technologies such as the internet and the web and different games it brings a lot of good and fun and entertaining things, right? However, there's the good part and there's also the bad part of new technology, especially with young people. So today, we're going to not talk about the good parts, but we're going to talk about some of the bad aspects of the internet. So, China's internet detox. Detox is, it means when they stop using it. So if I am on a you know, coffee detox, then I'd stop taking coffee you know, forever. The internet costs almost nothing. It's very, very cheap for people to have internet. It is a major source of entertainment for today's youth. It's a source of entertainment. We can watch fun things, we can play exciting games, we can talk to our friends. 700 million people, that's 700 with six zeros, people have the internet because it is easy to use and access. Uh, using means to you know, use the mouse and the keyboard and access means they have permission to go into something. So they have permission to use it, right? It's easy to use. Today, more and more people are staying inside their rooms to play internet games. The internet has now turned into an addiction. An addiction is when we love something so much that we want to do it more and more and more. So we can have an internet addiction, we just want to do internet, we don't want to sleep, don't want to eat, just only want to do internet. If we have a coffee addiction, then you don't want water, don't want juice, you only want to drink coffee every day, every minute. When you wake up, you want coffee. Before you sleep, you want coffee. And so, of course, this is a bad thing, right? So, to fight the addiction, detox boot camps are growing across China. So, again, detox means you quit it, you don't do it anymore. And boot camps is sort of like a, a military place where it's very uh, difficult and it's very sort of demanding on your body and in your mind. It's, it's not easy. 24 million people are addicted to the internet. This many people, they love the internet, they only want to see the internet. In China, some teens, you know, from 12 to 19 student, uh, kids, will sit in front of a computer for 17 hours. Addicts will wear diapers right? Diapers are for babies, right? But these people are not babies. They are adult teens and some adults and harm their own health as long as they are in front of a screen. So what this means is that going to the bathroom, eating, taking care of your body, that's not important, right? What's most important is the internet addiction. It's an addiction. An addiction is a disease, it's sort of like when we have you know, a heart attack, addiction can be a disease in the brain. It's a disease that affects a patient or the sick person's emotional and physical health. So physical means their muscle and their bones and their skin, what we can see with our eyes. And also emotional, meaning inside our brain. Are we very sad all the time? Are we tired? Are we sometimes very sad and then very happy? Uh, you know, we're talking about our brains uh, because the patient can't stop themselves from doing what they crave. They crave it. They want it so bad. They want to stop, but their body cannot stop. They just have to keep doing it. Parents desperate to save their children. Desperate means they want to do anything. They want money, they will give it. If they want diamonds, they'll give diamonds. Desperate means you'll do anything to save their children are enrolling or registering their children into a minimum at least six month detox boot camp. So they are going to go to this detox boot camp for six months 
at least, right? So not five months, it can be six months, seven months, eight months. Detoxing is the process of getting rid of an addiction. Getting rid means, you know, getting away from the addiction. Detoxing is painful, so parents must trick their kids to go to the camp. They sort of lie to them. At the camp, internet addicts are shut off from all technology. No phones, no computers, no tablets, nothing. They start exercising, playing music, learning sports, and receive counseling. Counseling is when we talk to a teacher or talk to an adult or someone that's a professional, a doctor, and we talk about our problems. That's for our emotional health. The parents and kids are given a new chance to rebuild their relationship, right? Because if the child is addicted and the parents are worried, they're not going to be very friendly with each other. It's going to cause a lot of problems. So they want to make that relationship better again. And addicts are given a fresh start. All right. First one, A, how many people have the internet and for what reason? 700 million people have the internet because it is easy to use and blank. So what this means is that many, anyone that has a computer, they have the permission to use the internet. So this means access. Access means that we open the permission and we let them in, right? If we close access, then they cannot use the internet, right? But because it's easy to access, if we have open permission, then anyone can use the internet. Access is open. B, at the camp, what do internet addicts do? They are shut off from all blank and start exercising and receive counseling. So they start doing more healthy things for their body and their mind, and they stop. They are shut off from all things that are computers, tablets, electronics, or any technology. C. Why do parents have to trick their kids? Tricking means they're playing, they're sort of lying to them. They say, hey son, let's go to Disney World. And after they get ready to go to Disney World, they actually send them to this boot camp. So they're kind of tricking them. Because parents are desperate to save their children, but the blank is painful. So this program is not easy. It's very painful. It hurts. It makes them tired. It makes them a little angry and sad. So detoxing. Detoxing means when you stop an addiction, forever on that day so you if you are addicted to swimming then you never swim again that's detoxing from swimming right although swimming is a very good thing okay we have three review terms here a the internet has now turned into an blank so the internet in in this case people only think about the internet they only want to use the internet when they wake up they think about the internet first before they sleep they always doing the internet so we call that an addiction addiction can be many things it can be exercising you just only want to exercise or playing video games it can be an addiction b in china some blank will sit in front of a t computer for 17 hours so we want to talk about young people not young like elementary or junior high school we're talking about high school and college students from about 12 to 19 we call these group of people teens like 14 15 19 we're talking about these young people see an addiction is a disease that affects a patient's blank and physical health physical health is talking about you know our bones and muscles and our blood and what we can see but this one is something we cannot see because it is in our brain right it is our personality it is our feelings it is our thoughts and what we think so we call that a emotional if someone is emotionally healthy that means that they are happy they don't really get sad a lot and they're very positive. But if you're emotionally 
unhealthy, then you're very sad and you get angry uh, easily and you're not very, uh, you don't want to talk to other people. All right. So again, to review, addiction is something that you want to do more and more every day, all day, right? Teens are talking about from about 12 or 11 to 19, these young people. And emotional, we're talking about our brain and our feelings and our thoughts, all right? So I know you guys are using computers for school and for sometimes gaming and sometimes at home. But again, don't let it become an addiction or your mother might trick you and send you to one of these places and it's painful, all right? So thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris. I'll see you next time.